Hello everyone, this video is for like the NVIDIA's new super resolution. I'm going to show you how this works and how the power consumption is to indicate if it's benefit to use or not if you are very like limited on power. So let's go through my specs. If you can see, I have 3070, uh, CPU is 12400, 16 GB RAM, and my native 1440p model to get started first you need to have updated drivers uh the latest driver 531 and if you're watching in future you will obviously have latest drivers what this will do is it will give you this option of rtx video enhancement under the uh, video image settings now do notice that this application over here is from Torsair's i series. It basically gives me indication of how much power my system is taking. Currently at idle, it's taking 130 around average. Usually it's even lower than that, but currently I have certain things active, like Google Chrome is active here, which I'm going to use as an example. So let me just set this up so that you can see this is the power usage now how to use this once you have all this setup installed and your chrome is updated uh, with latest version, then you are set it will work there is no special setting you have to do in chrome you just have to watch a video that is at least 720p or 1080p to get full um, experience in 4k if you're using 4k motor something i have noticed while using this which i will show but for now let's see how it works now assuming this is on 720p native you can see uh, it's pixelated uh the face you can see i'm not sure if youtube will capture it properly but let's see when you apply super resolution well, let's go with four just to show you the best quality possible when you apply you won't see it will have only happen on when the video is playing so let's play now you can see it already got sharpened and the face got a little smoother you will see this kind of face when taking selfie where it will hide your wrinkles and everything that's the same thing it's doing right now uh, to see the settings actually applied just let's just remove this and watch the video again now you will see that there are some wrinkles over here you can see the facial stuff there it's not smooth like it previously was so that was on 720p and if you can see in this bottom section the power usage it went up it usually goes to 250 to 60. now it doesn't it doesn't depend upon what quality you use like even on one it will do the same thing it will go about taking the same kind of power you can see it is rising above again 200 it goes then goes back down so it's taking a similar kind of power even if i select four it may not be much much of a difference let's see it's taking same amount now the thing i noticed that when i go from 720p to 1080p uh, the power consumption drops actually i don't know what it is Even in the GPU usage section, the usage also drops, assuming because it doesn't need that much energy to upscale 1080p video compared to 720p video. That's I'm assuming. But that's the thing I noticed. You can see. Now, since I have 1440p monitor, I cannot like go for 4K, I will not notice any significant difference. If it's on 4K, I don't know what upscaling it will use. Will it even use upscaling? I don't see anything. I see the normal face that I normally see. There are wrinkles over here. So basically, it's not helping much in 4K itself because there's nothing to upscale, I think. 4K is the limit for my monitor. Although the power consumption is jumping because it should normally be at 130 which is it's going for 151 and everything like that 
so that's the basic understanding of how this work what you need how it will work uh it's good for static videos like this like where some guy is just talking that's why i specifically use this video uh, i'm not sure in gaming it will help 